So here we have the BMW 740D M Sport automatic on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate of this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's got cameras all around as well. Loads of boot space, as you can see. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get these lovely leather seats, uh, electronically adjustable of course, with two different memory settings. There's a lot to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the far left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge, followed by the speedometer, then the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. You can see the total miles uh, for the car. They are 7,829. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, stereo and uh, phone controls. We've also got voice activation just there. And minus and plus paddles so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. Uh, you can see, first of all, that this car's got a reversing camera and a really great 360 camera as well. Uh, it's also got a front facing camera and various options down the side here, including being able to adjust the contrast and brightness of the display, which is a fantastic extra. You can make all of your movements on the main menu by using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial and this set of buttons, or this is all touchscreen as well, so you can access your satellite navigation from there. There's a full video showing how BMW satellite navigation works, which can be found on our website uh, and also on our YouTube channel as well. Music-wise in this car, we have got uh, DAB digital radio. We've also got AM and FM radio as well, which you can see just there. Uh, we've got a CD player. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. We have screen mirroring and USB input. So there's plenty of ways to listen to your music. Working our way down, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed as well. Once you're happy with those settings, so you can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. Once you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on and of course off again. Or you can put it in auto and the car will do all of the work in order that it maintains the temperatures that you've asked for. And to override that, just press the auto button again. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. We then have the fully automatic gearbox, electronic handbrake with auto hold function. And just here you can change the driving setup of the car from Eco Pro to Comfort or Sport. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.